Chinese say no by inaction rather by words. And this happens in many situations. Recently, I had a training with one of our firm's biggest client from US. The trainees were 35 VPs from worldwide, their organizations. And during our seminar discussion, one of the VPs asked a question and said, why I did not see actions is supposed to happen since everything uh, were agreed during the meeting. So later on during the discussion, I noticed he and the meeting at the meeting and did not extend the meeting or allow the meeting to continue for two or three days in order to collect feedbacks, not face by face. And the same thing happened in a Canadian embassy. I was invited to have a training to their trading officers. They had many meetings actually and didn't get good result. What happened was the officers can read Chinese, listen to Chinese, understand Chinese very well, but they have a difficulties to read the Chinese minds. During the meeting, when you ask if you have any, any questions, do you agree with everything? And you might see their body language, yes, no questions. However, if you offer the meeting continued for a couple of days and suggesting your secretary will contact their secretary to collect feedbacks, they will more appreciate. They will tell you what they really think about the agendas, topics they discuss during the meeting. So allow the Chinese give you the feedback, not face by face, because that's the Chinese communication style.